Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Motti Henonen. I will present the SESTA Metadata Aggregator project with my colleague Tony Sissala. In general sense, an OAIPMH metadata aggregator is a service which harvests metadata records from some OAIPMH endpoints and then exposes that same metadata for reharvesting from its own OAIPMH endpoint. A well behaving aggregator will preserve the provenance of the original records and pass that information to the reharvesters in the OAI, OAI envelope that wraps the actual metadata records thus giving credit to original data sources. Aggregator is intended for machine-to-machine -machine interaction. In a sense, an aggregator is like the SESTA data catalog, but for computers instead of humans. The purpose of this project is to build metadata aggregator for SESTA and to get it running in the SESTA cloud environment. The main goal is to allow for larger exposure of SESTA metadata records without any additional burden to the service providers. One stop shop may be a bit worn out expression, but it describes the goal quite well. An explicit non goal is replacing service providers' own OAI PMH endpoints. In fact, without those, the whole idea of aggregator would be senseless. The aggregator is geared towards general SESTA use case and the service providers will stay free to cater their own use cases as they see fit. The aggregator will not limit service providers' choices in any way. Another non-goal is enhancing service providers' records. The aggregator may need to do some syntactical rearrangements due to differences in ingest formats and output formats. It supports SESTA data catalog metadata elements and attributes and includes them in the output format. Those records contents stays as it was provided by the upstream endpoints at the service providers. The main benefit for service providers is the increased visibility and discoverability of the service providers data assets as the metadata is distributed to new catalogs and new search engines for new audiences to find. Other benefits include promotion of interoperability and compatibility and strengthened cooperation between organizations, be they SESTA, its service providers, or third parties. The work is being done as cooperation within SESTA, with, with SESTA main office and FSD. We will do the development of the aggregator component and the main office will integrate it to the SESTA platform. The aggregator component is using, Kuha, is using Kuha code bases as basis for development. Kuha is open source product and the aggregator will be open source too. This diagram sums up the logical structure of the whole reharvesting pipeline. An aggregator does not survive alone. It requires some supporting services to make a useful whole. First, an OAI PMH harvester is needed to collect the records from aggregated endpoints. Second, those records need to be checked for validity and correctness so that the aggregator can in turn expose valid and correct records for reharvest. Yes, hi everyone. I'll share some details about the software product. Next slide, please. The metadata aggregator will use metadata records gathered from all SESTA service providers, OAI PMH endpoints, and make them reharvestable from a single endpoint. The aggregator supports DDI metadata as input format, specifically DDI 122, 2.5, and 3.1. Output formats provided for harvesting include OAI DC, DDI 2.5, <coughs> and OpenAIRS data site. The aggregator is initially planned to support B to find triple and open air discovery portals. Next slide, please. OAI PMH is a protocol which defines a set of rules and standards that are used to implement interoperable software components to facilitate exposing and harvesting external based metadata. The current version is 2.0 and was released in 2002. 
OAIP image features six verbs, each representing a certain type of harvesting request. The aggregator implements all six verbs and supports features such as selective harvesting, deleted records, and OAI identifiers. Large list responses are partitioned into subsets using resumption tokens, which are one of the key features of OAI VMH. <coughs> the protocol also supports record grouping into OAI VMH sets. Two types of configurable grouping criteria are built into the aggregator. Records can be grouped by source endpoint or by arbitrary criteria by defining a mapping file, <coughs> mapping file to map records identifiers to sets. <coughs> Sorry. The aggregator maintains, its, uh, maintains and provides provenance information, which helps to track origin of the metadata. Provenance can be traced by interpreting provenance containers included in output OER image envelopes. Next slide, please. Um, the aggregator features a database API named Document Store. It is used to control the stored records and provides interfaces to create, update, and delete records and a flexible query API to filter them. Document Store's APIs are accessible via HTTP and use JSON as a communications payload. The underlying database is MongoDB, which is a schemaless NoSQL database. MongoDB can be clustered using its built-in replication features and can be set up for the aggregator using a script bundled with the document store. The design of the internal data model is not tied to any metadata standard. Custom clients can be used to feed the document store with arbitrary metadata formats. The aggregator's OAI PMH components features a plugin architecture to help building new output metadata forms. Plugins are a great way to customize metadata for a certain harvester that has atypical needs for a metadata format that cannot be generalized. For example, in FSD, we have had the need to change the way certain date stamp elements are constructed to provide metadata in a compatible way for a single harvester. Such cases are good candidates to implement metadata formats as plugins rather than integral parts of the main software package. Since the nature of the aggregator is to gather records from multiple endpoints, endpoints that may also be aggregators themselves, the client synchronization process deduplicates metadata records based on provenance. <coughs> Next slide, please. The software consists of multiple distributed components, two server applications, client, and a database. The central factor in this figure is the document store, which provides interfaces for other components. The client and the OAI PMH repo handler are distinct components that never interact with each other. The client reads records from a file system and feeds them to the document store that stores them to the database. The OAI PMH repo handler receives a request from a harvester and queries the document store for records. The document store then responds by streaming the requested records to the OAI PMH repo handler, which finally constructs the requested metadata format on the fly and responds to the harvester. Next slide, please. The aggregator is a software bundle within Python. The development work is done for SESTA and follows SESTA technical guidelines. Source code is hosted by SESTA and software is built and tested in SESTA integration platform. The aggregator is based on Kuha2 and uses Kuha2's Kuha Python packages as a dependency. The aggregator can benefit from Kuha2 development efforts, efforts as it will be easy to add new features or bug fixes to the aggregator once they've been implemented to Kuha2. Now, some words on the status of the project. The development phase is running to an end just right now, and we intend to ship by the end of the year. 
we are finalizing the code basis and writing documentation. Next, we need to get the thing running in the SESTA production environment, populated with records, publicly available and harvestable by third parties. This should be done early 2022. After that, we need to take care of the maintenance and start mapping out if there are use cases that warrant some future development. As a side note, there are at least two presentations in edit today that discuss things related to the aggregation and the pipeline, pipeline it requires. And that's our presentation. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions?